All right. Um, so another place that we've kind of seen that physical to virtual meeting shift has been with recruitment and uh, candidate interviews. And although you know some companies have slowed down hiring, recruiters are still looking to hire the best talent for their teams. And with interviews, they're looking to give candidates a good experience. They're still coordinating across teams, across interviewers to gather feedback um, after interviews. So let's actually walk through the interview process while we are still working physically in the office. Um, so let's say Scott is uh, interviewing for a role at Workado. Typically, he would come into the lobby, he would sign in using a visitor management tool like Envoy, um, and that would notify uh, you know, the first interviewer, let's say that's me, to know that Scott has arrived for his interview. Um, so we'd go over to a conference room that's reserved for most of the day for Scott's interviews. Um, and you know, while I'm speaking to Scott, we're having a great conversation. Um, our interview goes over a couple of minutes. So our coworker, Amanda, who's up next to speak with Scott, um, she can still see that I'm with Scott through the uh, windows in the conference room. So she knows to kind of hang out for a few minutes before it's her turn to speak with Scott. So um, when I'm done, I can go grab Amanda from her desk and say, hey, uh, it's your turn to, to speak with Scott. I can pass off that interview baton to her. Um, and this handoff happens with you know, the subsequent interviewers. And finally, Scott's done for the day. Um, so we wanna send him home with some company swag to thank him for his time with us. And we wanna keep him excited about this opportunity here at Workado, although the image is of uh, Twitch swag. So once Scott heads out, um, so Amanda, me, and any of the other um, interviewers, we can kind of uh, meet for a quick huddle to, to chat about our overall thoughts as Scott um, as a candidate. So hopefully this process sounds familiar. Um, maybe it's been some time since we went through something like this because we've all been kind of re working remotely for, for a few months now. So, so the question is, um, how do we bring these in-person interactions into the virtual world? So... Um, you know, we want there to be a seamless handoff between interviewers so that both the candidate knows who to expect when and the interviewers know when they're meeting with the candidate. Um, and recruiters need to kind of, they want to coordinate across interviewers to gather feedback. We want to give, um, we also want to give the candidate a good experience and we want them to feel valued and, you know, enjoy interviewing with us. And Rena, I, I will say, I like, I think receiving swag is great, uh, you know, great. a great way to feel valued. Yeah. It certainly yeah. Helps with us, help, uh, help with my interview with the Workado. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So, so, you know, this is what we've actually done to bring all of those interactions over to kind of this virtual world. So um, we connect our, our ATS, which is Greenhouse, um, Slack, Zoom, and a sending platform like Sendoso. So what happens is that before the interview begins, uh, Workbot creates a channel and um, adds all the interviewers to easily keep them in the loop. And so they have access to the candidate's resume. They know when it's their turn to meet the candidate. Um, and the first note, the first interviewer is actually notified when uh, the candidate joins the Zoom meeting, so they can hand off the candidate to the next interviewer after they're done. And um, after each interview me meets with the candidate, they receive a message from Slack with a link to a scorecard in Greenhouse, um, so that you know they're they're ready to kind of give feedback. Um, it's it's at the top of their mind. Um, and when the last interviewer completes her interview, everyone on the team is actually notified to join a quick meeting to chat about the candidate. And of course, um, we want to replicate the swag side of things like Scott mentioned and do something a bit more personal so we can use a platform like Sendoso to do so virtually. So let's take a look at how this works. Um, all right. So we've been added to this channel. Um, so right now we're looking, what we're doing is the greenhouse, when we're, we're looking at when there is a new candidate interview scheduled in greenhouse. Um, and this kicks off this workflow in Slack, right? So it creates a channel, it brings in all of the interviewers. We've got uh, Bobby, Scott and I. Um, and we also are able to kind of see the interview details uh, about the date and the time. And we have easy access to kind of the candidate application as well as any other interview details that we wanna take a look at in Greenhouse, just directly in Slack. So if we go back, um, it looks like, uh, it looks like, you know, our interview is starting up with five minutes. So um, we can kind of get ready for that. Um, and we have the order of interviewers. So Bobby's going first, then Scott, then, then me. So it seems like Bobby and Scott are already done with their interview. Um, and I can actually click on this link right here. This is a link to the Zoom meeting where the candidate is actually having um, his interview. So I can actually open this up and join the, the meeting pretty much immediately. So let's say, uh, and this is, these messages are kind of status updates for everyone who is in the channel, just so that we know, you know, just in case people's interviews are running over by a couple of minutes, we are kind of aware of what that status looks like, even if it's maybe not fitting in this 30 minute time slot. So once I'm actually done interviewing uh, Bennett, I can say, you know, hey, I'm done. This would send me so this would update the status. Um, this would send me a scorecard to Workbot, sorry, to Greenhouse so that I can immediately fill that out. And since I was the last interviewer, um, 
it also shares a Zoom link so that everyone can kind of join for a quick team huddle just to discuss some some of our thoughts about uh, about Bennett. And through these automations, you know, we ensure that the candidate is is actually having a good experience. They're not left waiting on the line for too long. They're not distracted or disturbed by kind of random random interviewer um, appearances and disappearances. And we make it easier for the interviewers to hand it off to the next interviewer, even if they go slightly over time. And we make it easy for them to share feedback while it's kind of top of mind. Recruiters can um, you know, easily capture interviewer feedback and manage the overall process much more efficiently. And Rena, if I could just add one thing too, it's just like if you think about the physical experience, right? If you know you're waiting for an interview, you could walk around the office, you can talk to other people that are there. But if you're on a Zoom call and you're you're waiting, it's just basically dead air, right? And so um, the experience can be, be better if if the interviewers come in like one right after the other, right? So there's no dead time. Definitely, yeah. No, that's a good point. 